are my chickadees welcome back to my nest today we're going to be checking out a little game called can demons be good uh, this game is currently being remade so this is kind of like the demo or prototype so what we see uh, everything might be different whenever the actual game comes out but I want to this one has been on my to playlist for a while and it's time has finally come. Um, this game, here's some warnings. I don't know if the warnings will pop up when we press play or not, but this game contains themes of drug use, blood, explicit murder, and sexual assault references. So if any of that makes you uncomfortable, please click away. I want everybody to be safe. And we're just going to dive on in and check this out. I think it's going to be a fairly short-ish game, but let's find out together. New game. Oh, there we go. There's the warning again, though you've been warned twice. Oh, look at the little angel. Mikael. Hello, and welcome to the Rehabilitation Program for Demons. My name is Mikael spokesperson and assistant for the program. Okay. Really cute. Let me turn this down a little bit. There we go. You must be wondering, what is this program and how does it work? Well, let me tell you. This program is specially dedicated to the most rebellious and nefarious demons of hell with the aim of reducing the overpopulation of demons and re rehabilitate them to obtain forgiveness from heaven. Isn't that wonderful? With a mix of activities, education, and a special medicine, we're confident that we can rehabilitate any demon in less than 500 years. <laughs> 500 years? Holy crap. Can you imagine being like, oh my god, 500 years. Oh no, that is, that is, <laughs> oh no. Although this pro program is barely 300 years old. Come on, come join our program now. If you don't, we will come for you. Oh god, that that's not... <laughs> that's not scary. Oh, is this us? As that? Oh, he's such a cutie. Look at him. He's got like little angel wings, but he's still got his like little demon horns. And look at his little two fur. Oh my god, he's so cute. Uh, I love this video. I could see it all day. Huh, that's weird. What are those stars doing in the day? Oh, it's night already? Oh my god, look at his little tail! It's almost time for him to come! Oh god, oh god, who's coming? Who's coming over? Today is the big day! Oh, we're blushing! Look how much he's blushing! His little ears are red, too! Today is the big day! I promised myself I would tell I would tell him my feelings. But I'm not ready! I've never done this before! I better wait another hundred years! Oh, no! <laughs> no! I need to do it! <laughs> uh, I need to calm down. I wrote everything I was going to say in my journal. Controls. Okay, move character. Investigate, accept, or talk. Okay, gotcha. Cancel and open menu. Okay. I've already read all these magazines. I wonder when I can get some new ones. My old couch. It's kind of dirty, but it doesn't matter. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have gotten this TV. It has no cable though, and I only have one videotape. Oh my god, so we've been watching the same commercial over and over. But it's the only videotape I need. Oh my god, we love Mikael, don't we? Ah, what am I thinking? There's no time for this. Turn it off. Ah, here it is. Let's see. It's so red. I can't say that. What was I thinking when I wrote it? He's here! <laughs> Let's open the door. I can do this. Hmm. 
Good night, SS. <laughs> There's our love. Look at our baby wings. We got such baby wings. <laughs> Have you already settled in your new room? Um, yes. Great. I'm so glad to hear it. I was afraid you were upset because we moved you to another room. No, no, this is a good r r room too. You're so understanding. That's why you're the fastest progressing demon in the history of the program. You started out being one of the most difficult, but now look at you. Your angel wings are already born. What's your secret? I, I, I have no secrets. I see. So it's just hard work. You're a great example for other demons. You're barely a hundred years old here, right? Y yes Today is the anniversary. You remembered. Of course. I bring you a slice of cake as a gift. Would you like it? Hell yeah, we want that cake. Yes. You got a slice of cake. By the way, have you greeted your new neighbors? No, I haven't had time. We've been sitting in our chair watching the commercial with you in it over and 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 over. I, I mean, I'll do it right now if that's what you want. Wonderful. Part of this program also includes getting along with each other. Here's your medicine for today. You got medicine. Then I'll see you tomorrow. Be nice to your neighbors and don't forget to take your medicine before bed. Have sweet dreams. Oh my god. We have feelings for him, but I don't think he has an inkling of feelings for us. Mikael! Yes. Come on, baby. You can do it. You can do it. I, 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 I want to ask you something. Go ahead. Oh, look at him. He can see me. I see him. What? I can't hear you. If you... Like demons. Uh... I don't understand your question. I mean, um... I need to get your medicine to the other demons now. I'll be back tomorrow at the same time. Oh no, bud, you blew it! <laughs> Obviously he doesn't like demons. What was I thinking? He's an angel! You're like a half-angel now. Oh, poor baby! No, that doesn't mean he rejected me. Uh, if I become an angel, I'll have a chance. If I do more good deeds, will I become an angel faster? I'll try with all my might. <laughs> oh, look, we have like a little store mat. That's cute. Mikael told me that these thi these are living beings, although they don't move. Weird. The soil looks dug up. Ooh, there's something in the soil here. I don't understand about art. This is art, right? Knock on the door. It, I won't take that stupid medicine. Go to hell. Um, I'm Azette, your new neighbor. I passed by to say hello? Don't bother me. Also nice to meet you. Aw, they so mean. This room is empty. Oh, look, she has a little purple mat. A good day starts with a smile. Hello, I'm Asset, your new neighbor. A rat. Okay. Yeah, yes, I know you. The little demon with the angel wings who keeps repeating the same video all day. What? How do you know that? The walls are thin. Also, I saw your little confessioner kit there. Oh no! <laughs> oh no, we're embarrassed. Don't waste your time. An angel will never see you as an angel. Okay, I turned my mic all the way down again, so you guys probably haven't been able to hear me. I am so sorry. I do not mean to do this. It just happens. <laughs> 
Thanks for your advice, but Mikael is not like other angels. I've known him for a hundred years. Believe what you want. There's a little, there's a camera up there in the corner watching us. Ooh, we can go this way. Oh, a bathroom! I already took a shower this morning. Bathing every day is great. Why didn't I try it before? Oh yeah, now I remember. I was going to ask Mikael for a, cer for a curtain for the bathtub. I don't need to use the toilet now. <laughs> With a little flower on top of it. Who will, who will be that handsome and future angel in the mirror? It's me. Oh, he's such a positive bean. I wonder who forgot their towel. Ah, uh, it's mine. Oh, nobody mind if I leave it here. Oh, he's such a cutie. I love him. Hello, I'm Maset, your new neighbor. Toggin. Okay. Your wings. You like them? Looks fluffy. <laughs> they are. Do you want to touch them? Can I? Sure. They're really fluffy. Yes! I hope you get yours one day. Well, see you later. I already greeted everyone. Time to go to sleep. Or... The door is closed. We're not allowed to go beyond this door. Aww. So we're literally just stuck on here. You can't go in there. Why? I don't know. My brother told me to say, say that to anyone who tried to enter. Aww. We're out here. The door says laundry room. It's closed. Our beloved. Bedtime. Though I still prefer to sleep on the couch. Oh, so we got we sleeping on the couch? Oh, <laughs> I'd like to watch a video again before I sleep. It helps me sleep better. Okay, okay, baby, whatever you want. <laughs> All right, I must take the medicine. Take the medicine, eat the cake, put the medicine on the cake. I mean, we're gonna have our cake and eat it too. Oh my, what have I done? I could call it a healthy killer. Hmm, it's delicious. I wonder if he did it himself. No. No, it can't be. But what if he did? Oh, why did I have to fall for an angel? It's his fault. I'm a victim here. When I become an angel, I'll tell him my feelings. I've already waited a hundred years. I can wait a little longer. And then, well, happy <laughs> baby fell asleep. Such a cutie. Somebody's playing some guitar or rock music. It's really nice. What's that noise? Doors closed. We gotta go to the bathroom in the middle of the night. Oh, the door. I thought we weren't allowed to come in here. Look who's here, chicken wings. 
chicken what? What's the problem? Toggin? Ah, oh, you must be my other neighbor. Toggin, right? I didn't get a chance to see you. I only met your brother. <laughs> Look at this dude. He's trying to act like that stupid angel. Which one? The blonde one with a stupid smile. What was his name? Don't know. <laughs> you knowing him. The one who's always smiling. Oh right, Mikael. Now I remember his name. You don't feel like hitting him to see his crying face. What are you talking about? Huh. I forgot you were there, chicken wings. You're so tiny. You're a fan of that angel, aren't you? Oh, uh, hell yeah, we are. Not only a fan. <laughs> Rat, did you hear him earlier? Man, you're all so annoying. Shh, listen to this. This dude asked Mikiel if he liked demons. <laughs> man, man, he's so pathetic. And not to mention this he same damn video all day. Oh, so mean. What are you going? I'm not f I'm not making fun of you, man. I want to help you. Yeah, freaking right. What? Cheese, don't listen to this idiot. Shut up. I'm talking to chicken wings. I have a plan that'll make us both happy. Come here. You're going to love this plan. I got this drug you can put on an angel that can put an angel to sleep instantly. You can add it to some food and give it to him. As he trusts you, he'll surely eat it. And when he falls asleep, I'll let you do whatever you want with him. No, no, we are sweet baby. We're going to become an angel. We're not doing any demon deeds. We could torture him for a while. Imagine what face he would make. It'd be hilarious. I'm full of ideas. In the end, when we get bored of him, I'll end his suffering and kill him. What do you think? I'll find a way to do it even if you don't want to help me. What do I think? Oh, we're pissed. Look at his eyes. Oh. Huh? Kill him or kill him. Oh, no. Well, um, we're going to lose our progress on becoming a good boy. <laughs> what the fuck? Are you fucking crazy? The stabby noises. Oh my god. I I lose. Oh no. Did anybody see that? Was there a camera in that room? I didn't notice. I didn't look. <laughs> oh no, bud. Hmm. Ah, uh, I slept well. Time for another productive day being good. I think I'll start by watering the plants in the hallway. Surely Mikael will be happy. Dude! Did Mikael see what you just did? Dude! It's my journal. The truth is that they forced me to start writing everything I do. Did... Oh no. All demons of room 520 to 523 are asked to go to the recreation room immediately. Mikael is here! Calm down. Calm down. I wonder what happened. He never comes this early. I wonder why. <laughs> Maybe he came to see me. I'm sure he did. Of course not. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Buddy. Buddy. Buddy, no. Good morning, Azette. We are waiting for you. Please get in line with the others. Yes. Sit. We still have blood stains on our shirt. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I'll be good. I'll be good. I'll be good. 
Since we're all here, let's start this emergency meeting. Uh, all? T Toggin isn't here. Oh god, buddy. He Does he not remember? That's why this meeting. He was murdered last night. What? I'll only ask this once, and I hope you are honest with me. Who did it? I can't believe there's a murderer among us. How scary. No one will speak? I know who did it. I just want to give them a chance to confess. Why are you two looking at me? Just confess and let's get this over with. What? I did nothing. Why would I have to confess to something I didn't do? Did you go crazy or are you playing dumb? You stabbed him with a broken bottle about ten times. What are you talking about? I didn't do anything. Why are you trying to incriminate me? I'll remember that I left the I remember I left the party when he started acting like a stupid. But I didn't kill him. I haven't killed anyone in a hundred years. Toggin saw me too. Oh no. Tell them, you saw me leaving the party. I didn't kill anyone. You killed my brother. Why are you both lying? What are you saying? Have you seen your clothes? It's covered in blood. What the hell? Did you put blood on my clothes while I was sleeping? <sighs> Mikael, they're trying to incriminate me. I'm so disappointed. Wait, Mikael! Mikael, please wait. I really didn't do it, I swear. Believe me, please. We had a party last night. I woke up because there was a lot of noise. I went to the party, and then Togan was being rude to me, so I left. I slept all in the night. I didn't go back to the party. I swear to you that when I left, they were all alive. Don't lie to me looking at my face. I'm not lying. You don't need to scream. I heard you the first time. Oh my god, does he, like, switch into, like, a like a demon mode or something and he just doesn't remember? Is that why he keeps moving floors? I just don't understand why you're trying so hard to tell a lie. I know you did it. I saw you through the security cameras that are everywhere. That can't be. How could I appear in that video if I didn't do it? Is there someone impersonating me? I was hoping you would tell the truth, but you just keep telling lies. Mikael, I didn't do it. Let me prove my innocence. Follow me. Enter your room. Mikael, you locked the door? You'll be locked up to think about what you did. And the angels in charge of the program will choose a suitable punishment for you. Right now, you can be dangerous to others. Mikael, please! Let me prove I didn't do it. This is unfair. Mikael? He's gone. Oh, look at him. I can't stay here crying because Mikael didn't believe me. I need to get out and prove I didn't do it. Someone is incriminating me. Aww. Look at the journal. Ooh. The last thing I wrote was 13 page confession from Mikael. I'm embarrassed just reading it. 13 pages? I think it hurts more that he hasn't believed me. That they are falsely accusing me. Look under the table. I never used that lamp. I'm fine with just a light from the window. Nothing here. My bed. Look up. Clean as my conscience. I've never used it. Hmm. Here I keep my adult magazines. <laughs> I promise to get rid of them. A future angel shouldn't have these things. <laughs> oh 
<laughs> he has adult magazines. There's a little blood on it. Who would go so far as to shed blood on me while sleeping? Hmm. There's an old cookie. Are we gonna eat the old cookie? Aw, oh, we're not gonna eat the old cookie. Look at the magazine. Hmm. They're a magazine for girls. A demon gave them to me while I was in my old room. I had nothing to read. I like the dating tips section. Oh, right. I have a... I, I leave a metal clip. You got a metal clip. Look at the window. If I could fit between the bars of these windows. But we can't. The door is closed. Use item. You can create a wire by stretching it. Well, just like the old days. Unlock the door. Oh no! I have to actually make a puzzle! Press the keys in the correct order without making a mistake. Okay. Up is locked. Okay, locked plus up is unlocked. Okay. So, locked plus... Okay, I got it. What? Up. Down. Left. Up. Right. You have unlocked the door. The metal clip got caught in the door. We out! I must look for some clues that shows my innocence. I should start at the murder site. <laughs> we investigate in our own crime. Ooh, what's that? Ultra spicy cheese nachos. I love them. Eat one. Yuck, they taste horrible. Wait, I know this flavor. Azoria drug. Someone used to sell it in hell as a recreational drug. However, in excess, it's surely lethal. What if Togan died because of this? Buddy, he didn't die because of that. Does that mean someone poisoned him? I should ask his brother. He was the closest person to him, right? You got nacho chips. These colorful drinks can't be a good thing. Someone finished a whole pizza. They were hungry. It's not time to listen to music. It's not the time to watch TV. They have a lot of movies on videotapes. Oh, they're all educational videos of angels. I wonder if there's any other where Mikael comes out. I have a feeling we'll be watching that later. There's nothing on the sofa. Nothing on the sofa. Can we look under it? No. Okay. Balloons! Balloons! If they weren't tied with these ropes, they would fly away. There are more empty bottles in the trash can. These guys sure like to drink. Just more bottles of alcohol than glasses. The sink is clogged. The water doesn't flow. Oh, we can find something to unclog it. Fridge is empty. There's a strawberry shaped magnet on the door. Can we take the magnet? This pizza is all old and stiff. Flowers in that vase are made of paper. There's a pumpkin under the table. I'd rather starve than eat a cold pizza. I wonder why this ice cream hasn't melted. It's toy ice cream! Don't you see the pumpkin under the table, bud? Okay. Oh, there's a bat wing on the wall! Wait, is that a demon wing? Did they, like, rip off a demon's wing? I have questions. Okay, which one's Toggin's room? Knock. Nobody answered. Toggin, are you there? I'd like to ask you something. He has unlocked the door. Oh my god, it's a mess in here. I wonder why they need a power plant. Oh, he's not watching anything. Oh, bunk beds! A 
I've never seen a double decker bed. And there's gasoline. This box is full of bolt beer bottles. Hello, Toggin. I'm sorry for your brother's death. No problem, Fluffy Wing. I'm happy you killed him. I didn't kill him! And why are you happy about his death? He was very annoying. He'd never let me use the sofa. And he always treated me like I was stupid. He was always making fun of me. He even asked for a shared room to keep bothering me and tell me what to do. What a pain. Well, he definitely didn't seem like a great guy. Did you ever tell him to stop? Telling him to stop was the same as asking him to hit me. I don't know how to thank you. How about telling the truth? I don't understand. You want me to tell the truth or lie? Well, you stabbed him with a broken bottle last night. You looked pretty happy while doing it. That's a lie! There's no point in continuing with this. I'm here to find out who did it and clear my name. Oh my god, we got a lot. If you hated him that much, why didn't you kill him before? Do you know of someone who hates him? Did you see someone else at the party? Show item. Somebody sprinkled him with a drug. Have you seen your brother eating this? A nacho chip. He used to like it. Why? Someone put a very deadly drug in there. He used to put drugs on everything. But this is not a normal drug. A very little excess of it can cause death. Also very difficult to obtain. I know. I used to sell it. I mean, that's what other demons told me. <laughs> it's made with Alorna flowers, and they're really difficult to get in hell. I don't know. But now that you mention flowers, a rat grows some in her room. Maybe she knows something about that drug. Anyway, thanks for killing my brother. You hated him that much, why didn't you kill him? He was stronger than me and always on guard around me. Simple. Do you know of someone who hates him? Too many demons. I think it was a matter of time someone killed him. Did you see someone else at the party? Just a rat, my brother, and you. Where did he get beers and drugs? I really don't know. Some demons bring them to him while asleep. He never told me because I said I'm a bad liar. You seem to be very good at it. <laughs> Alright, so we gotta go talk to a rat. A rat! Help me prove my innocence. Who's there? Could we talk for a moment? I don't know. Did you come to kill me? It's not funny. You lied to Mikael and incriminated me. You're crazy. Come out. I want to talk to you. I can't. Why? Don't know. Stop playing. Mikael told us to stay in our rooms until he returned. I don't want a punishment. Then let me in. Hell no. Why not? I won't do anything. <laughs> don't make me laugh. I was saying it for my carpet. Surely you haven't cleaned the blood from your clothes. I don't want you to get it dirty. If I change my clothes, will you let me in? Maybe. I'll take that as a yes. Guess I should get clean clothes from the laundry room. <laughs> She's like, dude, I don't want blood on my car, but you crazy. Door says laundry room. It's closed. How are we supposed to open it? Hmm. I know we can get a hold of a magnet. Ooh, investigate. Hmm, let's see. I see something shiny there. It looks like a key. My hand won't fit through the pipe. If only had something to attract it. <laughs> no, we can't get it with two. We. I'll take the magnet with... Oh, we're supposed to have a string. Where do I get a string at? Ooh, here. 
Take the rope from one balloon. Aha! I took it out. You got a key. Woo! Look at us using our little demon brain. Okay. Laundry room. Oh my god, look at all that dirt. Dirty clothes. This is what hell smells like. <laughs> is that like a gasoline bottle? Are we just gonna burn the clothes? Hmm, hand towel. Somebody ordered them very well. Washing machine is empty. Look at the basket. I hope there's a clean uniform in here. Oof. There is one. You got a clean uniform. I better take a shower before putting it on or I'll just get blood on it. Look at the blackboard. There's a to-do list on the blackboard. My name's on the list. I just arrived to the new room three days ago. It says that I do the lawn... I should do the laundry. No way. This is what hell smells like. I can't feel my nose anymore. <laughs> Looks like someone didn't want to dry the mop after cleaning. So we're on laundry duty. <laughs> Let's take a shower. Take a bath? Yes. Oh, nice and clean. Alright, will you speak to us now? It's me again. Did you wear clean clothes? Yes. Hmm, seems to be true. How do you know? Who knows? Okay, so can we talk now? Will you let me pass? Hello? Alright, okay. You won't stop bothering me if I don't let you in, right? Oh, look at all of our flowers. The sofa looks more modern than mine, but mine's more comfortable. Do you go into someone else's room to open their closets? Yes, yes I do. There's no mistake. These are all Allura flowers. There's some books there, but I can't read their titles. The bed looks softer than mine, but nothing beats a sofa. This should be her journal. Don't touch it. So, what do you want? I would like to ask you some questions. Make it fast. I was busy reading. Uh, why did you lie? Do you keep denying that you did it? It doesn't make sense. We all saw you kill him. I didn't do it. So, what was the person that looked like you at the last party last night? That's what I'm trying to find out. I have a clue. Really? Yes, that person was you. Were you friends with Toggin? I was not. But you seemed very friendly at the party. He just used to come talk, come over to talk about himself. I didn't like him either. I'm just sure his brother's also ha happy that you killed him. About these flowers. These flowers are not against the rules. They were growing between the cracks outside my window and I picked them up. Do you know the name of these flowers? Don't know. You're lying again! You knew that these are Allura flowers. Uh, with which you can make a very powerful drug that is in large do doses is lethal. Is that so? I see. Show item. Nachos. I don't like those nachos. Toggin was eating these nachos before he died, and someone put a lot of Laura drug in there. So, you think I put drugs in his nachos and killed them with an overdose? I'll tell you what I believe. You killed him. You and Toggin work together. <laughs> I know Toggin hated his brother. He found out that you had these flowers and his lethal drug and asked you your help to kill him. 
at the party, you put the drug on their nachos, and he died moments ago. And since Toggin had a lot of resentment for him, and you didn't want to be caught, Toggin dressed up like me and stabbed him with a broken bottle for the camera to see. And then you blamed me for it. You even went to my room while I was sleeping to stain me with his blood. <laughs> oh my god, that- oh god. <laughs> That's quite a theory there, buddy. You really have a lot of imagination. But there are several errors in your theory. The first, and most important, we were all at the party at the same time. There's a video to prove it, so nobody's dressed up like you. Also, we're both taller than you. How are we going to dress up? And we both saw you kill him. That's not true! And you haven't explained why there were drugs in their nachos. Before you came, I planted some of my flowers in the vases of the bushes in the hall. That's how we got them for sure, because they are gone. I have no idea about that drug. That's why the dirt was dug up. He probably put them on his nachos himself. Which makes sense if he had been in all his senses, you couldn't have killed him so easily. And the mystery is solved. Nothing is solved because I didn't kill him! Yeah, yeah, whatever. I'm already tired of talking. You can go now? I want to continue reading. Dang it! Hmm. I've run out of clues. I still think Toggin or a rat did it. I just don't understand who, who's the one that appeared in the video and why he looks like me. Will there be someone else here? Oh, the door's open. Enter. Hello? Is that us? Not enough light to see what's in the boxes. Who are- Oh no. What are you doing in here, Esse? Mikkel, I- I- There was someone here! I don't see anyone else here. I swear, there was someone standing there at the window! And it looked like you? Yes! How do you know? Because it would be very convenient if there was someone just like you hiding in an empty room. So you could say he killed Toggin and not you. I... You need to accept the truth. Did you get mad because of what Toggin said? I don't want to remember what he said! Assess? I... What are these memories? Did I kill him? I guess I did it. I'm so confused. I'm really trying to be good, but when I get angry, I can't control myself. I feel like there's another person inside me, and sometimes it takes control of me. Even though I always stop it, stop it on time, I failed this time. I didn't want to accept it. Even my memories were gone. They're back now. I killed Toggin. I'm sorry, Mikael. That was what I wanted to hear. Did I still have a chance to be an angel someday? I'm afraid this will happen again. You should, shouldn't live in fear of yourself. That will never allow you to become an angel. What am I supposed to do? How could I stop feeling angry? Balance yourself. What do you mean? You're becoming an angel. Not only your body, your mind is changing too. You could feel like there are two of you. But there are not. There is only one. We all have something bad and good inside of us. They're not independent in uh, entities. Even you have some evil inside of you? Sure. I'm not perfect. You can't just deny your evil side. You need to accept it and find the balance between both. And that is a really difficult thing to do. If you try to lock up your evil side, where no one can see it and pretend it doesn't exist, one day it'll break the lock. 
and turn into a nightmare for everyone. That's why you shouldn't avoid feeling uh, angry when someone says something you don't like. It's normal. You just have to learn how to react to those feelings. Don't be afraid to ask for help. I'll always be happy to help you with everything you need. Aww. Thank you, Mikael. I'll accept whatever punishment has been imposed on me. Your punishment will be a lot of hard work. Only that? Don't un underestimate hard work. Let's go. Aww. Can we see the boxes now? These boxes are full of... Confetti? <laughs> Can I ask you something? Of course! What bad things have you done? Do you really want to know that? Yes, I want to know! You look so perfect in my eyes that I can't believe you have an evil side. Well, I'll tell you. Sometimes, I steal cakes. What? <laughs> the end. Oh, that was cute. That was cute. Look at the little balloons. I liked it. It had little puzzles and it had an explanation. I'll, that's really cute. This is a cute game. It says it's being remade right now, so I'll definitely play th No thanks to my country that broke my game multiple times because the light went out. Made me think about giving up. Oh, oh, Yeah, this was by Drawn Mike Studios. Um, I really hope they keep making games. I like this. Visit my Facebook page for more games. I will, I will. Do you want to read the character profiles? Hell yeah, I do. Which profile do you want to read? Aset, our boy! Don't get carried away by his height. Aset is over 500 years old and was one of the worst demons in hell. He has a long list of sins that he prefers not to mention. He used to be taller, but when his wings start to grow, he shrunk. He hopes he doesn't shrink more. <laughs> he is madly in love with Mikael since he first saw them. This is a new feeling for him and is afraid that he rejects him for being a demon, so he won't say it until he becomes an angel. Meanwhile, he's happy just being around. He has a strange fascination for colorful things like balloons. Oh. Don't be fooled by his smile, he is actually pretty smart. Mikael is a very hardworking angel that is over 2,000 years old and is in charge of delivering the medicine to demons. He asked him. He himself asked to join the program after he found out about it. He really enjoys helping others. He loves when demons progress and has a special fondness for Asset. He has high hopes for him. He can play various instruments and speak all known languages. However, he's a bad cook, so he probably didn't make that cake. He stole it. <laughs> that is why he usually takes some cakes out of the kitchen without permission, although all the other angels know it. He can always be, also be a bit clueless. <laughs> okay, let's check out a rat. A serious girl who prefers not to get in trouble, but she can't resist a pizza party. She is only a few days into the program and is really calm. She got tired of Hell's bad treatment and is happy to be able to sleep in a bed in peace. She likes to read and wishes one day to have a field of flowers. Secretly likes Mikael, but prefers not to aspire to so much. Ooh. Let's check out Toggin with an eye. A demon that likes soft things and cute stuff. He was always more shy than his brother, so they took advantage of him. Although he's actually quite strong, his brother made him believe he was weak. He used to work as a bodyguard. Among other things, he likes singing and is really good. However, he doesn't have the confidence to sing in front of others. Okay. Toggin with an A. A terrible demon who, despite having been in the program for more than 200 years, never took medicine and only dedicated himself to planning ways to corrupt other demons and defy angels. In other words, he just wants to sabotage the program. What happened to him? Since demons cannot be killed by other demons, 
He was reborn in hell, and very soon he'll be integrated into the program again. He must be cursing inside himself. <laughs> oh, that's kind of funny. Oh, it's over. Oh, man. I know this looked interesting, but I didn't expect to enjoy it just so much. Oh, babies. If you like this, please leave a comment or a like down below and let me know. And uh, please consider going and checking out the devs page. Give them some love. Uh, I know they haven't updated in quite a while, but maybe they will in the future. And as always, thank you for my Patreons who are making uh, <laughs> my life a little easier. And I hope to see you guys next time. Bye!